One of the sexiest things about a person is self-love. If someone can wine and dine, entertain and fall in love with themselves, then they can fall in love with someone else. That's exactly what happened with Maggie. Two weeks after Maggie and I met, she told me she was taking herself on a date. She took herself to a nice dinner, treated herself to wine and then to a movie. She even dressed up all fancy. She wore a cute outfit, did her makeup and hair, and she was ready to wow her date for sure. I'll never forget that night. We lived five blocks away from each other. I happened to be working at a nearby coffee shop in the neighborhood and I saw her walk by and she stopped and she said hello between dinner and the movie. And I asked how her date with herself was going. And though a bit shy and awkward and embarrassed for running into me on her date with herself, she shared that she was loving the experience. I found out later that she got awkward and shy because she also wanted to stop her date with herself and hang out with me. <laughs> Maggie and I texted each other for a while after she finished her movie and had gone home and she said dinner was good and that it went by fast, which it would for a table of one. Service was fast and the food was good. She liked the exercise of being alone with herself and in public where everyone else and their friends and family and lives were happening. I think we should take ourselves out and wine and dine ourselves, relationship or not, far, far more than we do. It's easy to get comfortable and to hide behind your partner, behind your fear of being alone. It seems now that every chance we are alone with our thoughts for even just a moment, we panic, we pick up our phones, we text as if we're doing very, very important things like checking Facebook. It's okay to be alone. When I see somebody with the capacity to be alone with themselves, I light up. It's their chance to know and be with their own thoughts and feelings and the world as they experience it. When you care for yourself, those who are healthy people respect that. It's such an attractive quality. I fell even harder for Maggie the night that she took herself out on a date. Self-love is one of the sexiest qualities about a person. She didn't half-ass the date night either. She was all in and she treated herself like the best damn date ever. What she did told me that she could be alone with her thoughts, feelings, and ideas. It reassured me that if we got together, she wouldn't lose herself in me or in us. And it proved that she has a strong foundation and a life of her own. It even validated that she really does love herself and the company that she keeps. Even if it was just a challenge to experience what it was like, I admired that she did it. I like being around people who challenge themselves, who think deeply about love and life and meaning and purpose and everything it means to be alive. I like those who break the mold, who aren't embarrassed of themselves. When was the last time you took yourself on a date? Schedule it in the calendar right now. Take yourself to your favorite place, order what you want, not just what's the cheapest. Enjoy your favorite drink and top it off with some dessert and plan a fun activity. Treat yourself in a way that you would treat someone that you want to woo because you love that person so much you want to spend the rest of your life with them. Do that for yourself because that's you. You get to spend your whole life with you. Know you, love you, enjoy what it means to be you. Nobody else in this world knows what you do, feels what you do, and experiences life the way you do. Relish it. Even if something comes up, don't cancel on your date with yourself. Would you cancel on the girl or the guy of your dreams? Then don't do it to yourself. The rules for your date night out with yourself are as follows. One. Be polite to your date and plan the date activities in advance. Two, shower and get dressed up for your date. Three, eat well. Order what you would like to eat, what sounds good, not just what's cheap. Four, no phone zone. Seriously, put it away. Five, ask yourself questions that you would ask a date and listen for your answers. Six, when you get home, write down your experience. What was it like? What, what did you learn about yourself and how did it feel? Only when you fall in love with yourself can you truly open yourself up to the love of another fully and completely and passionately. After your date, evaluate and relive and share your favorite moments that you had on your self-date. Take time to write it down. What was the experience like for you? What was the funniest thing that happened? What surprised you about your date? What was your favorite thing to do on the date? When did you feel most loved and proud and honored and cared for on your date? Would you date you? What would you have changed about the date, if anything? And did you have any surprising conversation with yourself or others on your date? And what did you learn about yourself? 
Write it down so that you can learn from yourself and appreciate your time one-on-one -on -one with you, a pretty exceptional human being. Look over your list of answers to these questions and play with what it's like to be you, to date you, and who and how you want to be in relationship both with yourself and with others.